Hey, so I want to look at something that kind of amuses me today. Uh, unfortunately, it is at CNN, and I know that so many of you have, through a correct exercise of reason, decided to swear off CNN, but we're going to go back, back into that zone. I, I promise it's okay. Um, CNN reported on this story in which there's a city in Michigan just outside of Detroit called Hamtramck, and they have banned the pride flag from display on public property. So sit, the actual city property won't put up a pride flag. I mean, regular private institutions can still do it by themselves, of course. So, um, and they're outraged, of course. So let's just come over here. So here we are. See, you didn't burn. Um, <laughs> all right. So I've got some, some pieces highlighted because I want to spare your time. All right. But here it says, Hamtramck City Council members voted unanimously Tuesday to approve the controversial resolution which restricts the city from flying any religious, ethnic, racial, political, or sexual orientation group flags on public grounds. I don't see anything wrong with that. Like, I don't see why there would be a religious or ethnic or racial, any of those, on, on city property because that would be the city explicitly saying we, we agree so I'm fine with them saying saying none, you know. Frankly, I I think that having a city that is in favor of Christian doctrine and shows the Ten Commandments and that kind of thing, I'm in favor of that. But if it's an all or nothing thing, okay, we'll, we'll just we'll just get rid of the crap uh, and do that however we have to do it. But anyway, let's go down. Okay, so here we've got. City council members shared that flying a pride flag could potentially lead to other radical or racist groups asking for their flags to be shown. Now this is actually kind of interesting when you think about it, because what they're doing is, is making the pretty rational argument that if you say yes to a pride flag, then you have to accept other flags that people suggest, because you people have a constitutional rights to free expression. If you say that this is, this is suddenly representative of the free expression of everybody, you know, then you kind of open the doors to, well, why not our flag, whoever our happens to be? Well, the government is providing preference in a lot of cases. You know, you have this stuff about the entire country and other countries, some have had, uh, but you have the government's provi providing preference to the LGBT lobby above any other group. They're, they're very much a protected class that's given privilege above others. And the city is, is arguing here that since that is not a legal state of being, you can't just give preference because we like it, then therefore uh, it'll be thrown out with the rest of them, which is a rational and legal argument. All right, we're going to keep on going now. This next one. One individual opposed to the resolution said, for Hamtramck to attempt to equate the LGBTQ pride flag with hate symbols when it is a symbol of progress and love is now a local attack on our community. Okay. Now, it's not a symbol of progress and love to other people, right? That's you redefining it as something else. You're just sort of deciding, well, because I like it, it's therefore a symbol of these things. No, I mean, to my to myself, the pride flag is an anti-Christian symbol that is offensive and which promotes degeneracy and degrades the human person by telling him to deny himself and that for which he was made. So, no. I would even say that it's an anti-love symbol because you, when you encourage a person to act in ways of uh, homosexual or drag, trans, any of those behaviors, you undermine uh, the, the state of his immortal soul. You imperil his immortal soul and you tell him to deny himself. When you have two, let's just say, uh, people who both have, I don't know, homosexual ideations and they engage in one of these relationships, they're doing harm to each other. It's, it's not good for either of them any more than it's good for our community. So, definitely not a, a symbol of progress and love. And then you have to ask with progress, well, what are you progressing toward? I mean, are you progressing towards something like the end of the days of Rome? Um, if, if so, then okay. But, but in general, that's not what I think of when I think of progress. 
So this is just them playing these word games that they very often play and which very few people really push back on, which is why I thought I'd just go ahead and take a minute. All right, now we go back to the article. And as you see, I like this. All the city council members are of the Muslim faith. <laughs> Isn't it unreal that when you finally get one of these stories of, you know, they're fighting back and they're refusing to kneel to the gay lobby, it's the Muslims who are doing it. I mean, there's just something amazing and kind of pathetic that, that it doesn't happen more often by other faith groups, you know, like all those proclaiming to be Christian and instead deciding to hide because they don't want to deal with it. I mean, seriously, the, I mean, these people are doing the right thing. Uh, attempting to get rid of this off of public buildings, which means that they're, you know, we're being promoted by tax money because that's what we mean by public, right? Anyway, let's keep going. We have a little bit more. We come down here. It says the resolution stipulates that along with the American flag, the city also flies flags that represent the international character of the area. Okay. So in other words, they they banned all these different like sexual orientation flags and racial flags, but they still allowed uh, the flags of random nations like the Pakistani flag and whatever else. Um, I, I, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that the flags of foreign nations should be flown on public property in the United States. I think you should have like a city flag or a state flag and a national flag, but I don't think you should have like, here's the foreign nation flag unless it's like an embassy building. That would be about it. Um, regardless though, I think that what you see here is the, this, this Muslim city council was willing to exercise reason in a way that so few are because they're so afraid of the pushback because all they're saying again is we don't want political messages on city property. And this is very much a political message and therefore they decided to get rid of all of them. And there's nothing wrong with, with that. It's, it's a good start, you might say. And I think that we should, we should absolutely follow their example. So I think it's a good, it's good to see is I think, I hope that more people are, are willing to sort of push in this direction. And that's why I'm bringing attention to it. Cause it's kind of buried, which is why we ended up looking at it over at CNN, but you know, whatever works. So yeah, definitely I think spread this one around and make it known. Cause this is, this is a good way to fight. It, it's a good start. If you enjoyed that video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also share it with your friends. I've got links in the description down below that can help you to support me in different ways. Thank you.